I'm Connor from Burris Optics, and I'm gonna run you through using your ADM mount that comes with your version three Burris thermal rifle scope. This mount allows 163 millimeters of adjustment so the scope can fit whatever platform that you wanna put it on. It also has the patented QD auto lock lever system to accommodate in-spec and out-of-spec rails. So let's get into mounting the optic. To mount the optic, we've included screws with Loctite on them, as well as the applicable tool to tighten them onto the optic. On the bottom of the optic, we have six threaded holes, and we're gonna use those holes to attach the rail and the screws directly to the optic. But we have to figure out which holes we wanna use. So to do that, we're gonna take our cleared and checked rifle. We're gonna take our MD mount, put it on top, and then I'm just going to mount the rifle to my shoulder, just like this and I wanna place the optic where I would need it. So that's too far back, I would wanna slide it back. That's pretty good right there. So if I turn this up, I can see that I'm actually too far back off of the rail and these three holes do not line up with the six holes that are on the bottom of the optic. But this is such an adjustable rail that all I have to do is flip it around and try again. And I do have a little bit of room on my actual rail, so I'm gonna move this back a little bit, right about there. And that's about as far back as I would wanna go. Okay, so that is about good. So now that I have it pretty much how I want it, I'm gonna turn this up. And I can see that the last hole on the bottom of the optic lines up with the first hole on the mount. Now, I could go back even further by pushing the the whole rail back on my rail system, or I could even go further down yet another hole and leave one hole exposed because only two screws need to be mounted for it to be effective. I don't need to do that, however, because this fits well for me. So now all I need to do is screw them in and mount it to my rail and we are good to go. That's it. Now you can head out to the range and zero your new rifle scope. If you don't know how, check out this video. Otherwise, we'll also leave that linked in the description. And as always, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below and give us a like if this helped you. Otherwise, we will see you at BurstOptics.com.